Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, I did it and I love it. I was scared because I never had my hair this short, but. She don't like my music, y'all. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is January the 3rd. <clears throat> I took my hair down. I feel bald headed. But I'm at work. One of my coworkers said she'll buy the breakfast if somebody go pick it up. But I should have let the car warm up. I drove my stepdaddy truck, so I ain't gonna drive here to go get the food because it's a diesel and it takes longer to warm up than a car. So, I'm going to drive my co worker's car. I'm gonna let it warm up for three minutes. I'm, I'm not sitting over in this car. But yeah, I just wanted to come say hi and I'll be back. I'm through eating now, but I forgot to show y'all my breakfast. Who you think I'll talk about? And I need y'all to talk about Kiara in the comments because she, she says she don't put jelly on her grapes. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I mean jelly in her grits. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, y'all. My head look a mess, but I took those braids out at work, as y'all can see. Um, I just got my lashes filled. I just got my lashes filled. Uh, they said it was gonna snow, so I had went in here and bought all this stuff to take the dogs in, and it didn't. It's not snowing. According to the app, it's snowing right now. So, I'm about to go home so I can go to bed. But yeah, I didn't take y'all in Walmart with me because I was in and out. I just got the um, medicated shampoo. I got some stuff to put around their pen and I got them another lamp. And then, I'm just going to... I don't know if I'm putting that stuff around the pen this morning because I'm sleeping. And then, my vlog for this week, the Wi-Fi at work was up last night, so I couldn't upload. So I got to go home, plug up my laptop so it can upload the video. And then, what else? Um... I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's all I had to tell y'all. I need to put my glasses on. I can't see. But yeah, I will see y'all later. I'm not, I don't have anything to say, so I'm not gonna like prolong it. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Not next time. I don't know, I'll see y'all later. Jesus Christ. What's the day? The third. January the third. I'm at work. I gotta hurry up and show y'all my food for somebody big. Why she did? Why she did? Cause wait a minute. And I told Cuba about me to leave the pack today, just so she can have a snack. So he'll buy them something every day. Yes, he buy. I thought y'all had the boss at home. Oh, Cuba buy me a snack. Y'all that cute. Her little man buy her snacks for work every day. How is that cute? That is cute. But I got some lemon drop sushi, huh? I'm scared. I ain't never had that one before. Pick it up with your chopsticks. I don't want to put my hand in it. It's good. It is to me. Oh, right. I ought to get her some wasabi. You don't want really to say it. What do they got in them? I don't know. Oh, it's cold sushi? It cooked, though. When you go in there, I'll get you on that. Who? Right. You don't like it? It's okay. Mm-hmm. There's cucumbers in there. Mm-hmm. He might be sick. 
Let me say it to you. I'm talking about Shakira. Why? Wow. Yeah, Brandon, I want you. You can say it to Dre and Dre on TikTok. Yeah, I'll be there. That's what you sound like when you say, mm-hmm. Who's Dre? What you got nothing like? They be eating. He do food with you. Want some? Damn! Good, go on out my face. <laughs> do you want some? My friend just bought me them pies. You want one? Mm -hmm. Don't do too much now. I'm gonna eat my chicken with my. Why she talking about me? She better eat chicken tenders and balsamic vinegar salad dress. <laughs> Who eat that? Me. Crack here. Like you be actually do this shit. I'm doing everything but what I'm here to do. Monique Briggs. Oh, I didn't tell you. I ruffled off that red cake I made in the last vlog, and she pulled the name for me. Tristan looked back up. If she said one more small thing tonight, I'm losing my religion and I'm knocking her out. <laughs> Y'all, I did it and I love it. I was scared because I never had my head in short, but look at her. It's cute. And it's healthy, so that's all that matter. I need some better life, y'all. But I'm in front of the, um... Yeah, look at it. And I'm in front of the um, nail shop. I'm about to get my eyebrow did real quick. I'm going to take y'all in there with me, so I'll be back. Y'all, I'm so mad. I should have waited on the lady. That man messed up my eyebrow. He cut this. Why did he do that? My eyebrows normally start right here. Why would he cut that off? See, the lady that did the last time was doing somebody's nails. And he told me to come on. And I went back there. Oh my God, y'all. I mean, if you don't know, you don't won't notice, but. That just looks so crazy to me. I look weird. <sighs> it's gonna be pencil then. I just. Yeah, I just got home. My mama don't know I was getting my hair cut today. So, <laughs> we about to see what she gonna say. You don't know this nothing about me? I know you got your hair big and cut. I cut it. I know you could, but it don't look bad though. It look good. I thought you were gonna say something. You I, know was, that... I was looking for it to be shorter though. I really thought you was gonna. She said I ain't had to cut it this way. No, but I was, I, I was telling you that. But look, what else you noticed about me? I know you got your eyebrows. He messed them up. He cut, he cut this part off. So Too now, much. It's supposed to be like this. Yeah. Now I look like a fish or like. Going to Walmart. I see that lady. I don't remember what I had to give. So I gotta play music.
trying to debate if I'm getting this. Should I get him up? Get him a 40, get him 40 dollars. Don't get it. Dream with me, let your mind explore all the things we were created for. Possibilities and open door that keeps us reaching out. Listen to Rod Wave. Yeah, I'm weak. Look. You got me man so cologne. I'm gonna tell you too. <laughs> they got y'all some Miss Delicate. Smell the kid. What? This one. The Christian Dior. They got some Versace. Okay. Which one you gonna smell? I'm gonna smell, baby. Look I'm at the smell. It's a, it's a cut up bean or something. Which one is it? This supposed to be Christian and Dior. Yeah, it smells too bad, but it, it don't. But I don't know if I like it for kids. I don't know if I want to smell it on him every day. Well, not every day, but you know. That smells like something they'll when they go to the script club. Yeah. <laughs> I am weak. Okay, they got the press on them, dude. They're what I need to buy. Uh oh. 
Kia, why are you even carrying that stuff? Now, they actually smell good, Kia. Which one they on here? Each other? Hey, how you doing? Hey, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog since I ain't said it yet. What the day you care? Yeah. January 4th, it's right? The oh, the 5th. Shaquille, is this the um, We in the house, though. The I had to come to an appointment. I'm gonna have to come back because they playing some music. Shaquille! Where was you? Sweeping the porch. Get upstairs. Y'all, they bribed me into going to see the color purple. Mm -mm. Technically, we did. They did. I can't get in, but. So, <laughs> we're gonna start with Keisha, rated on a one to ten. One to ten. Zero. <laughs> I'm just, I'm playing, but it was just out of proportion. It went, it's not like the old movie. Yeah, what you rated? I give it a four. It was way too long. We've been in there forever. Yeah, the movie. Too much the movie started at 3:45. We just left out. It's 6:19. And then it ain't. I thought it was gonna be like the real movie at least. No, but I can't it was, believe that you didn't know all this time that Miss Celia was gay. <laughs> like where were you in the first movie? I did not know that. It. I you did. Know what I'm saying. I did not know Celia and Shu went together. Yes, they did. What? Real what? bad. Yeah. Sheila was in love with you. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. And y'all, then her chair came back at Easter dinner. It I'm... wasn't even Easter, uh, Easter dinner in the first one. No. I mean. Then Sheila had her own store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Sheila had her own store. And in the middle, I ain't gonna lie. Sheila like, did have a store in the first one. Oh, she did? Yeah. A uh, pants store? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Sheila got her own Yes, but Milsa didn't come back to the store though. Oh. She seen she thought she seen him in the middle row, but when the movie it, it like he disappeared, like he wasn't even there. He ain't come back to buy no pants from her. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I ain't and he ain't come back at the end of the movie so he invited some guests. In the middle of the movie, I was I was still into the movie. But then when it started going off to stuff that ain't never even happened, I was like, wait a yeah, minute. My happened. friend was falling asleep. Yeah, she went to sleep three times. It was boring. You know how little cheering me when you tell someone they be sleep. I ain't sleep. I wasn't sleep. I rested my eyes. I'm sleep, just listening. Bro. You asleep. I read and everything. If I was snoring, then I wasn't sleep. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, we I guess we finna go eat. I'm done. Yeah, we finna eat. Everybody tired now. We might just go go to bed. Yeah, we finna 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 go to bed. Good night. So, I'm trying Lichi. Keisha got peach. Bubbles. 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 Bubb
Starting off, I was thinking, okay, you're gonna have a little music in it, and that was fine. But, like, when it started getting close to the end, stuff that had already happened in the old movie hadn't even happened yet. Okay, so let me tell you, honestly, I felt like I thought the movie was gonna be just. You know, an updated version of the old one, as in, like, better graphics, if you will say. Yeah, I'll be going to. That's what I was thinking was going to go up. But no. That movie went in a totally different direction. Well, my friend says Celia did you know, have a story at the end. I don't remember that. In the old one. Well, I don't know if I ain't remember Celia going to shoot either. <laughs> but I don't remember that part. And then, the part where her kids came back. It happened at the end. At a 
mischievous annual Sunday dinner. Oh my. I mean, the movie was still good, but when it got close to the end, it wasn't nothing like the original movie. I said that much. It was a lot of singing. I mean, but well, that part didn't bother me too bad. I mean, the movie was good. I can see what people were saying about it wasn't what they expected. Because it wasn't what I expected. And it was too long. The movie started at 3.45. We got there at, what, like 4 o'clock? And then, um, we didn't leave. When we got in the car, it was 6.19. That's when I'm in the movies. But, I'm not sleeping yet, so I'm gonna watch a little YouTube. And answer some questions and I guess I will see y'all good people tomorrow oh I didn't tell y'all what I would eat <laughs> okay after the movies we went to Buku Rami y'all y'all seen that been out a lot of times I like it cause they you know they're my third time I think so but they were my friends first time having rum and they liked it they liked the bra but they said if they had to choose themselves, they wouldn't go away. <laughs> so, but they, I mean, I think they said they liked it. But it wouldn't just be something they would pick to eat. So, yeah, that was that. And then we was going to go to a place called Chip, but we decided to just come home. Because it's raining. We didn't even, oh, I didn't know it was supposed to rain. And it's raining. So, I will see y'all tomorrow. The vlog is tomorrow, because tomorrow is Saturday. So yeah, y'all be good. And I'll see y'all in a couple hours. Hi guys. It is January the 6th, Saturday. I just got out of bed, got a bath, and put pajamas back on. Yeah, I am tired. <sighs> really tired. So guess what I'm doing today? Nothing. Ooh, that feels so good. My mama wanted me to go to the market, but I don't have any. Me. And I just got up be like two. Well, I've been up, but I didn't get out to be. I've been up for like an hour. I don't know what kind of car did it, but I'm leaving. I've been up for like an hour, I would say. But I just laid in bed. But in my defense, I didn't go to bed at 2 o'clock. Why? I don't know. But, um, I'm about to do my Bible study since. I'm up. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised. I don't have nothing to do today. Like, no work. No nothing. And today ain't one of my best days. I think a flare up is coming because I just started being itchy. And the crazy part about it, the medicine they gave me for the itchy, go put me back to sleep. So I'm not going to take it. I'm just gonna try not to scrape my face and stuff. But yeah. I don't have to tell. And oh, well, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here too since I'm not doing nothing and then start next week vlog off because I'll be cooking me something to eat so y'all can see me cook something to eat in the next vlog. Because I think y'all got enough stuff for this vlog. Well, honestly, I don't even know what's in this vlog. I won't know until I upload it. We'll upload all the stuff out the camera. So I didn't I didn't do my normal um yeah to break. Mm -hmm. I didn't do my normal skincare routine for today. Excuse my 
Like, it started late at night, but I was trying to get more. So all I did was put, uh, when I washed it, I just put some moisturizer on it and some um, steroid cream that they gave me. But yeah, I'm about to get my stuff together for Bible study and I will be back. made me cry I'm gonna tell y'all about it so um, we got the Bible plan that I put in the very the scriptures that I put in the last vlog for y'all to do for every day of the month that's what this will come from and it's Proverbs 23 and 18 and I'm gonna go to my Bible so I can make sure I'm telling y'all the right thing and it says <clears throat> You will be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed. And like lately, I feel like my depression has been trying to get me, but I just know that I know what it is. But anyway, when I read it, y'all, I hadn't even got through reading the scripture fully yet, and I was about to cry. So I'm like, I got to tell them about this. And Y'all know I used the soap method to do my daily verses and like for the edge the scripture was Proverbs 23 18. Excuse my dog. She just seen me walk by the door, so now she want my attention. And for observation, I put me wanting to be and live within Christ will not be in vain. I will be rewarded with my spot in heaven and will meet my father. And <clears throat> the A is for apply and I put Know that my reward for following Christ is not simple and here on earth. It's in heaven with my Father. And I wrote a prayer. And y'all, when I tell y'all, it's just like that scripture resonated with me. Because I feel like a lot of times when we dedicate our life to Christ and give ourselves to Christ, we feel as if sometimes <clears throat> we go through so much still that we're like, dang, is it worth it? And then like some stuff we go through make you be like, just want to give up and not even try to be the better person or do the good no more. And by me reading that scripture, it was like he was telling me, don't worry. Everything you're doing has a purpose. It's not for no reason. You will be rewarded. And I know that a lot of times we think that the reward is here on earth when it's not. The reward, reward is in heaven with our Father. And until we realize that, I feel like we a lot of times we feel like it's in vain because I feel like social media and well not just social media but yeah my nose still green so excuse me <clears throat> and not only social media but like the world makes us feel like every good thing we do we have to be rewarded with something here on earth and by us living in christ and living by his word and we feel like we don't have what others have we feel like we're not we're doing it in vain but you are not doing it in vain because your reward isn't here 
They getting all this stuff now on Earth, but when they pass over, none of that is gonna be able to go with them. Everyone, your reward that he give you, it will never perish. It's gonna be there forever, for eternal, for the afterlife. And it's gonna be you getting to hear job well done, my good and faithful servant. And you're gonna meet your father, the reason you've been doing all this stuff. And a lot of people are like, I always like to ask, like, why are you doing it and you don't even know if it's real? I know he's real from what he did to me and what he did for me and what he's doing through me. That's how I know. And they like to say like, well, y'all always say that, but I can't get you to understand it until you accept and experience Christ for yourself. And until they do that, they won't understand and they won't feel it. And they won't understand that the real reward is not here on earth because all this stuff can be taken away in an instant. But when he give you that, it's there forever. And they like to always say like, how you doing it? Like, like I was saying about like, you not knowing the real. Well, I'd rather be to live my life like this. And... And when I die, if it's not, oh well, what's the harm in living a life where you're doing good? I mean, you ain't doing what the world deems normal. You're not doing what everybody else is doing. You're doing what you feel God is telling you to do. And you're living a good life still. And you and I think a lot of people feel like that too because they feel like if you're Christian or if you follow God, you're not having fun when I am because a lot of people tell me I'm missing out on a lot because I don't do stuff no more like go out I don't drink no more I don't smoke no more I don't go to the club so they feel like I'm not having fun because that's what the word deems fun but those things aren't fun to me like I didn't even like to go for real for real when I used to go because my friend I was like oh, y'all she ready to go <laughs> yeah I am but like I like to do stuff I go I go to the movies I go out to eat like I like to travel now so now that's fun to me so you still can have fun and be a Christian, but the world is just not going to let you think you can because you're not doing what the world deems normal. And like they say, I really live like this. And if it's not true, I like to live like this and still... See, I can't even say that because I know it's true. <laughs> I can't even say it, but like, you know how people like to say, you doing all that and what if it isn't real, it's no harm in me living like this. I ain't in the street. I can't, ain't nobody talk about me. My name ain't being called about sleeping with somebody. I ain't out here being said, folks saying I'm on drugs and I'm, all I do is drink and all I do is smoke and all I want to do is be on the scene. I mean, I ain't worried about it. I know what my reward is and I know in the end it's going to be everything I'm doing is worth it. It's worth it. And I can tell y'all now that the life I'm living now is way better than the one I was living before when I was doing all that worldly stuff. And like my eyes have been opened up to so much stuff. And it's just crazy. And I didn't veered off the scripture, but like it said, like like the scripture said, whatever you're doing for Christ, it will not be in vain. Like your good deeds will not and that leads me to the scripture too. I don't know which one, but it just say, Don't grow weary in good doing. Cause in due time. In due time. In, hey. But yeah, y'all, I pray that that message check somebody because when I read it I cried and everybody probably be like it's so simple why you crying but hey I cried because I don't know like I've been weary lately and I feel like when I read that scripture he was telling me don't worry I got you I know he got me but yeah y'all that ends this vlog I want to say thank y'all for watching stay tuned for the next one um don't forget to like comment subscribe Talk with me in the comments below. And yeah, we are children of God. Starting now and forever. So yeah, y'all have a good one. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all next time.